thought about that too. Hmm. Hey guys. <laughs> what was yeah. it? Namaste. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we're, we're, we're literally sitting here for shits and giggles. We've enjoyed doing this so much. We thought we, well, A, I've been uploading everything to YouTube just to put it all in one spot. And we thought, you know what, let's play with this. Let's have some fun. We don't care whether it goes um, further or not, but we just enjoy this fun space that we've created. So we want to know what you guys think. It's either going to be like chats on the couch with Clint and Sharma, but then I thought of the one today was uh, Namaste Bitches, Life's About Balance. So Yeah, I think that sort of <laughs> sums a lot of what we do so up in 10,000% chance there. So. Well, maybe we could just call it Namaste Bitches on the Couch. Namaste Bitches on the Couch. Well, we like to stay on the couch. We um, do. This couch has become a theme. Yeah. 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 Throw yeah. us your thoughts. Throw us your thoughts, yeah. Everyone comes over and goes, oh, this is where you do it. <laughs> so, yeah, we were trying to come up with a name, so help us out. If you can think of something cute and creative, let us know. Because um, Namaste Bitches, it's about balance, is a bit long. Um, and then Chats with Sean and Clint on the Couch. Be boring. Be boring. <laughs> Help us out. Help us out. Like cocaine bitches shirt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. We do the weird things. So yeah, help us out with some names. So today's we missed. Obviously, yesterday we had some friends over for dinner, and we just didn't get to doing it. So we just sort of. Eh. Um. So today we're gonna mash the two together. Day twenty eight and twenty nine. First one is when was the last time you celebrated and why? Um. And for us, we sort of thought about that, and we we kind of celebrate every day all the little things. Like, Which is important, and I think that's more important than the bigger things, to be honest. Because as we get older and we grow in life, we realise that all of the little things are actually the big things. That's actually the stuff that matters, and making the most of every moment, finding that balance, and living presently, is actually what matters most. They're the things that are the big things because. All of the little things tie together, and even though you're having a celebration, whatever it happens to be, is all of the little things that we should have celebrated along the way that create the big things. Yeah. And I feel like when you have that opportunity to make the most, give yourself a pat on the back for all your small victories, the bigger things are going to be even more enjoyable because you're in a better space when you get there. So it's all about, again, the way you feel and your destination is going to determine how you feel when you get there. Yes, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's always funny how... Um, when you lose your shit um, and something bad happens we often we get overwhelmed by the thing the last thing the final thing the final straw but we often forget that it's all the little things so I think it's that reminder that we forget about all the little things in the positive and the negative so if we can reflect on that it's like what are the, the, the small bits that build up to the grandiose appreciation of the good aspects of the life you've created? But then also, what is all the little things that you've allowed, created, adapted, not paid enough attention to that have created the bad things? So for the last time we celebrated, I think the last time we celebrated, you guys may watch and see that we are quite social, that's where we want to be. Um, and so the last time we celebrated was our house warming. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We also like to bring people together and massively Just enjoy good people so there were some really cool people here we you know it was a very interesting blend of people and it's really interesting watching uh the people play together and play and it's been my biggest thing right it's been my thing forever and i've had some friends agree with it and some friends not agree with it but i believe y'all are adults and if you can't play together nicely then don't come because i know that each and every human that i connect to has good qualities, not so good qualities, and all kinds of jigsaw pieces in between. And I think that you all have a right to be in different environments at different times to potentially see a different aspect of those other humans in a different element. And I think this is the part we forget, is we quite often meet someone and brand them with some kind of a title of our own balderdash, and we won't sometimes give people a second chance. So I love the events mm. that I do, and sometimes I wish there was a way of not broadcasting who's coming but I know some friends would then not come anyway because it's... as far as I'm concerned don't be so stuck up because ultimately you don't know what someone's had the day that you've had the bad experience or the good experience with them you don't know someone's story from when they get up to when they go to bed so we often will sit there and um, limit our first uh, experience with someone and then tarnish them with that and not give them a second chance which I think is really quite poor I think for me, I will make excuses for anyone with a good heart. 
I don't have people around me and I won't spend time with people that I don't think at least have a good heart. That being said, I'm not a babysitter. I'm not here to babysit anyone in mm. any sort of way. So if you've got a problem, just still come. And it would actually hurt me more if I was one of these people that when you're throwing a party or whatnot, decided to not go to a place because someone else was there. That would intrinsically destroy me rather than just moving on and being dealing, dealing with and going, you know what? Water under the bridge. Why hold on to the hate? Why hold on to the anger? So I like to give also people the opportunity to deal with this stuff too. Mm. You and meet some really have, good people. And we have big enough parties that you can all, you, people always have other people to hang out with. Like yeah. if you can't be in a room with someone you dislike. Like I've now mended uh, a disconnection I had with someone for many years. Me and this female had a few things that really went badly and we'd go to events and we'd play nice together because we knew we had the same circle of friends. Um, and we've now managed to let bygones be bygones and we've really allowed ourselves to just appreciate each other for who we were and we knew that at that point in time we were doing the best we could with what we knew mm. and what we had. And our behaviour does not dictate who we are and it actually should not be the way that we actually um, uh, dictate our friendships and our connections because you never know what someone else has got going on, truly. 100%. I think the thing a lot of us forget is that we're under no obligation to be the person we were five minutes ago. Mm. So we seem to forget that and we seem to judge Brad, put pressure on ourselves and yeah, we, we've got this space where we determine ourselves by the people we surround ourselves with. And then we've got this group and you're trying to make yourself fit. No one said you were supposed to fit. Mm. At the end of the day, Bring which is what magic. you just said there about doing the best in the situation at the time. I feel like pretty much all the time, there's um, not very many of us that are actually really bad people. No. So there's two <clears throat> thoughts here. Pretty much every situation, we've all genuinely tried to do the best and make the best we can out of that situation we can at that time, I feel like. I feel like there's not very many times you go, you know what, I hope there's really suffers for those people and I hope I suffer too. No one wants everyone to suffer. You're probably going to choose that your ultimately, own suffering is... Ultimately, no one way. wants other people to suffer. Even when you're furious and angry, and look, from my childhood to where I am now, there's plenty of people in my life I could have wished would suffer. Um, and I've probably said it before, but ultimately, at the core of your being, you do not want to see someone else suffer. It actually creates dis-ease inside of your equilibrium. 100%. So as much as you may have anger and distaste for someone in a situation, you don't actually want harm for other people. Well, it's, it's not serving you in any way to hang on to it. It really isn't. If you've got any sort of anger, any sort of frustration, any sort of any of that, it's not helping you. Forget about whether it's helping the other person. When people always say about forgiving people, you don't actually have to go and say to someone, I forgive you. You can just let the shit go and just go, yeah, I've, I've got no hate for that person. I've got no anger, no resentment, no nothing. And it's not something for them, it's for you mm. to just let that shit go because it's not helping. Mm. And again, resentment, anger towards someone, all of those things are destroying your present moment. They're things, in a lot of cases, it's from the past, but it's destroying your now. Mm. And your now is going to dictate the next moments that arise. If you're feeling shit in this moment, chances are you're probably going to feel shit in the next one too. Mm. Yep, definitely, definitely. I love how we've got to hear from uh, when was the last time we celebrated. So I kind of feel like we don't celebrate enough. Yeah, and yeah. I think especially with what's going on in the world at the moment, stealing any moment at which you can bring together your loved ones and your connected ones and, and celebrate whatever you've all got going on in any way you possibly can, I think now is so important to do that. I really, really do. 100% agree. Anything else? No, I think that's a pretty good little touch base for now. Cool. The point number two, the topic number two was when was the last time you forgot something important? And both of us went constantly. It's a really interesting space because quite often we really do put an effort into remembering uh, a lot of important things. Part of what we do when we forget a lot of stuff because we use keywords like don't forget, you're using a double negative or, you mm. know, I, make sure or whatever it happens to be you're using these words that really do help you forget stuff but also the base of any of this if you're not conscious enough if you're just going through your life on autopilot if you've got a lot of noise in your head 
you're going to start forgetting shit. You're going to start dropping things. You're going to go, oh, I've done it seven times today. What time's got? What time we got massage tomorrow? What time we got massage <laughs> yeah. tomorrow? We are constantly with appointments. We're like, what time we got that? But I mean, everyone has this, and everyone has many things on their plate. But the funny thing is, if you forget an appointment, you will eventually reschedule it. If you forget someone's birth date, you can ring them tomorrow and say happy happy belated birthday or a week or a month. It doesn't really matter because I think what we are all growing more aware of is we all do it and we all have a lot going on and everything matters but just not much yeah yeah exactly that it's like where it, where it says last time you forgot something important i go but what's important and what's not exactly how do we dictate what's important and what's not because forgetting that you said to your kid i'll come play a game with you in a few minutes that's important but if you're busy and you're doing other things that may not be important to you. So what's important thing. is different for each person. So I think that's a really curious topic for them to bring to us because I would argue what is important. And, and there's a really pointed perspective there because we quite often do this. We talk about it, you know, when uh, say you've got a flat tire or whatever's happened or you, you're running low on money and someone will say something stupid. Like, you know that there's thousands of people starving to death on the other side of the world. I'm sorry, but in that moment, What's important to me is the situation. Mm -hmm. I in And all of us in those situations, first of all, you can't control what's happening over there, but there could be a million people starving to death and you had a pimple on the end of your nose and that's what's important <laughs> because that's affecting you right now. So that's that perspective of importance. And realistically, we're not getting out of this life alive. None of us are. So just try and not take it so seriously. Nothing is that important. Okay. And remember that... I, I'm trying to change the dialogue with the way I speak, and uh, we all seem to do this a little bit. I used to say, I don't care. I used to always say, I don't care. Look, I don't care. And in, in a lot of ways, it's freeing to say, I don't care. But the way you say that... Also, is, not taking responsibility for things. That's a big part of it as well. But now I choose to say, I don't mind. And the reason I say that is, I still care. I still give a shit, and I still try and own my place. But I don't mind which way a situation goes. I'm not going to be horribly upset in either way. You go, oh, that's not the way I planned that. Um, car blowing up an engine? Yeah, look, that, I, I was, I did care. Of course I cared. You know, lost, we lost a little bit of money on that one. But now we have Black Betty. We have Black Betty. But the oh, point I is, I, I did hear that. I did yeah. hear that. But the point is, don't let it worry you. Like, I, I rang you up and I'm like, ah, oh, might need a lift home. Don't let it worry you. What's the worst thing that can happen? You can die? Is that really that bad? Mm. Is it actually that bad? We should probably celebrate that mm. a little bit more than we do. Mm. But my point with where we're going here, a lot of this stuff that we do, we forget the important stuff because at that point in time, it's not that important. Mm. There's other things going on. There's a world happening. There's things happening. But when we're more present, we can actually prioritise things and clear your mind. You've got a lot of noise going on in your head. Clear it out, find a little bit of balance, find a little bit of space and let all the bullshit that doesn't serve you go. It's funny, it made me think about... Um, Chickens? <laughs> I, I, what was it that... I, I don't like unicorns, no? <laughs> think because, about because... <laughs> my dad, actually. Um, so, a little background, like, as a kid... My mum was always, everything's hard, everything's too much, and there was a lot of fear. Like, I, my compassion for my mum is that everything was always hard by her. And so, I grew up frustrated, I think, as a teenager, because that was her perspective. Yeah. But my father was always, there is always another way. And so, when the question was, what, when was the last time you forgot something important? Dad always taught me that there's... There's always another way to do something. And if you forget, you can always make it up. If you stuff something up, you can always fix it or change it or it wasn't meant to be. So I think those sorts of perspectives from my dad were so beautiful because he really instilled within me this understanding that don't sweat the small stuff, but also mm. ask good questions. Get out there and do more things. Be more aware. But remember, if it didn't happen now, it, there is time. There is time, and if there isn't time, then it just wasn't meant to be. Well, and a lot of the times, this is what we talked about last A lot time. of us sit there with these to-do lists that are 
eons long. And a lot of us sit there with these these thoughts and this. I think we touched on something the other day about if there's stuff in your home that you or your in your emails or in your phone that you had signed up to and you didn't do and you haven't got the chance to do, maybe it's not so important. Maybe you don't need to have it. And maybe maybe that thing or those things sitting there on a list of oh for fuck's sake I didn't do it. That list is potentially causing you so much heartache and disease and disdain right now when you should just be grateful for the fact that there is air oh, to yeah. breathe and I have a pair of lungs or maybe one lung or heart, whatever. <laughs> um, I'm grateful for that simplicity. The fact that I can see, the fact that I can smell, even if it is a car thingy that makes you feel, I, I got so sick for today in the car because I put a new smelling thing in there and I just... I don't know. It was a mixture of things, I think. I think my body was my driving. I feel like you need to do all the driving. It makes a whole lot more sense. Hang on. What? I want to see what you just did there. I did nothing. I did Mind nothing. you, though, I do enjoy I do enjoy driving this car a lot. You might, you just might get lucky a few more times in oh. driving me driving the car. Is that all? Is okay. That all? Is that all? Um, but yeah, so I think it's just remembering. Thank you, Dad. Like. Everything's doable, everything's manageable, and just because it didn't work out the way you expected it to, maybe it wasn't meant to. And there's always another way. There's always someone you can talk to. There's always another perspective. There's always another opportunity. And those things that didn't happen will always lead you to something else that was meant to happen. Yeah. And um, so I think it's, don't be so hard on yourself. Like, there's enough shit going on in society. And so many of us allow ourselves just to wallow in this pit of not enoughness, not good enoughness, too muchness, all these things rather than just being present in the moment and just sitting with the things that are happening that are true and being okay the things that, with the things that aren't and just stop being such an asshole to yourselves yeah I, I think that's what it really comes back to is remembering that everything matters just not that much and and be okay with not being able to change everything well how you doing how you doing <laughs> so just remembering that everything that happens in life happens because it's supposed to sometimes it doesn't happen the way you think it should or the way you want it to. And a lot of the times it's what we said. We make this mistake where we think we can influence the outcome. And in some ways we do. But in a lot of ways, you've drawn this conclusion the way the world's going to go and it just doesn't work the way you think it will. Now, if you're attached to that way of thinking, you're going to run into problems because I can tell you what, the universe is here to show you that it ain't going to do what you want it to do. And therein lies the other addiction of humans is... Attachment. Non non-attachment, non-resistance, and non-judgment. The Three rules things. live by. Yep. Yeah. It's very cool. That's it. But guys, if you're still listening, we're like I said, we're trying to find a name for this. A title. Yeah, so, I, I do like Namaste Bitches on the Couch. Yeah. I do like that. Namaste Bitches on the Couch. Is that too long? Is it too aggressive? I did put the I as a number one <laughs> so that maybe YouTube might not pick that up. Um because we want to come up with something fun and creative, our Troy's joined. Um, maybe Troy, you can help us spin off some names. Um, but yeah, yeah, we've got a we've got a shindig on Saturday, so maybe we can get everyone's minds together and create something there. No one's gonna have a mind on Saturday. <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for jumping on. Um, we hope you liked that chat. That was we were both looking at the titles, going, mm, but that went some really cool places. So if you're only just jumping on now. I hope that you get a chance or make a chance to go back and have a look at the recordings. But know that I'm also creating these onto a YouTube channel because why not? Perfect. There's a great conversations. There's a lot there for a lot of people. And when I share the YouTube channel, I hope you guys go and have a look. Which much appreciated. Yeah. Okay. Sign Namaste, up. bitches, and peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Troy, so where's my invite? Uh, to... Oh. In the mail? <laughs>